Hi, this is Anne with a quick overview anagram on Code Anywhere, uh, how to uh, change a file, how to run your code, and how to see changes run in the browser. Um, I'm just going to walk through this very quickly doing one simple edit, a couple of simple edits maybe, and um, just show you how you see changes as you make them. So no matter which class of mine you're in this semester, you will have this environment at the end, uh, at the start of your week to work. Uh, we're going to give you a master index.html for your workspace that will allow you to basically navigate to the various coursework and to let me navigate when I want to um, grade it. So that file looks like this when you get it. And you have directions to change this line to you have your name and to unhide the various courses that you're taking by getting rid of this attribute if you need to. So for whichever course or courses you're taking, we're going to get rid of that attribute. So when you need to test your code, and you should test it often, you want to run, make sure your server is running. There's a preview button. Don't use that. Run your server and then make sure you know how to make changes to your files and see them. So when I run my project, I get a browser page opened up. And um, at the moment, all that browser page does is show me a title up here in the tab and a header right here. And those correspond to going back to my index.html file. Here's the header, okay? Here's the title that appears in the tab. And because each of these entries is hidden, they are not showing on the page. So again, I, the last time I was here, I hit the run button. Okay, there's now a stop button here. Don't go starting and stopping your projects. Keep your server running once you've got it running and just go back to your page when you need to work with things. Make sure you've got this page with this URL bookmarked. So in case you close it, you can simply open up a tab yourself and get back to it. Okay, so I've created a bookmark in my browser to get back to that page whenever I want it. Now, this is a nice little editor. It colorizes the content of this page, which helps you see what the different parts are. Um, and that's so much better than trying to edit things in Notepad or um, Text Wrangler, I think it's called in, in Mac. So if I want to make a change, I go here and I simply, like any editor, make a change. This is not Google Docs. You must save your file. I know this file is not saved because this little element here has become a round circle. And until I either go here and do save, or I type Control S, and this turns back to just the little red, the little X close box, close symbol, I have not saved my work. So, you do need to remember to save explicitly, okay? I have made a change. If I go back to my page, I don't see that change. That's because I haven't refreshed the page. Every browser has some kind of refresh button to reload. And if I reload and I've made a simple HTML change, I will see that change happen here. Now, you can also make um, JavaScript changes um, or CSS changes, depending on which course you're in, and not be able to see those when you get to your browser. So I will do a, another video a little bit later on um, being able to debug your code and in particular force a refresh of a page where a simple HTML reload is not going to work. But keeping this one short, let me just go back and go through that one more time. The directions here, this is a comment in HTML, the directions here say unhide the courses you're enrolled in by deleting the hidden attribute. So for example, if you're enrolled in INET 1580, come over here, highlight that and delete it, or you can backspace whatever editing technique you like. Make sure you save. I'm gonna control S 
because I'm a keyboard person. I'm going to come over here and see that nothing has changed until I reload this page. And now I have a link, okay? Because I haven't loaded the other files onto this, this workspace yet, that link doesn't go anywhere. So let's just see the terrible error, error message and understand that the world does not end, okay? If we make a mistake and we try to, we have a link that's not going anywhere. If you get that, you have two choices to get back to your working page, either your back button, or of course, you can always use your bookmark. Make sure you have that bookmark. I think that's all for now. Um, I will, again, I'll do more short videos as we go along.